PCG New York, when I joined in 1988, was frankly a startup office. We had less than 20 people. Our leading competitors had 400 and 200 people each. But the nice thing about being in a small office is you get to do stuff probably beyond your tenure. I got to lead client engagements. I got to lead recruiting, lead people processes, lead marketing. I've always been afforded these amazing challenges at key junctures in my career, whether it's leading the consumer practice in New York, leading a global practice like the marketing and sales practice, becoming chief marketing officer, moving across the Pacific to come to Tokyo. A career at BCG is a bit of a do-it-yourself career, and it really depends on what your passions are. Most importantly, I'm a mom and wife. There's life and there's work, and life comes first. But I love my work too. Being the head of the marketing and sales practice has allowed me the privilege to work across, I think at the time, five, six, now seven industry practices. Diversity is good business. It's hard for me to explain because it's such an obvious concept to me. <laughs> Why wouldn't you want to be diverse? Women at BCG is not a this year thing. It's been a thing at BCG for as long as I remember. Operating in Japan, I'm often the one an only woman in a room of 10, 20, 30, 100, I think, the other day. So imagine being in the executive committee of BCG and one third of the room are women. It's pretty neat. The work at BCG, the way we engage with each other, man, woman, backgrounds, whatever, it is quite the meritocracy. I think it's the coolest place in the world to be.